is Pepper. He has spent most of his life in a tiny cup. But today, I'm going to surprise him with a natural planted tank. This will be the first time he has had more than just a gallon of water to explore. But before we do that, we need to get him through airport security and onto an airplane. See, here's the thing. I was at Aquashella in Orlando, where I met Ben. He is the owner of MB Betas Aquatics and a huge fan of the channel. He gifted me his most expensive and rarest fish, a peppermint koi copper beta. But I had to get him home. After saying goodbye to all of the cute animals at the event, I went to the airport. I was so nervous taking Pepper through airport security and onto the airplane. When we finally boarded the plane and were on our way, I began to relax. After traveling all the way from his birthplace in Indonesia, Pepper was almost home. Before we set up his tank, we will need to add him to this quarantine tank. Let's acclimatize Pepper by placing his container into the water. Look, here he goes. Pepper is so scared. He is headed straight for the Java Ferns for coverage. I don't think he's ever swam in so much open space before. He'll need some time to adjust. Let's get back to setting up his new home. Let's start adding this white sand into our fish tank. This tank holds 10 gallons of water, way more than Pepper is used to swimming in. I hope he will adjust quickly to living in such a large tank. It must be a scary transition from his tiny cup. This series stone is the perfect choice for our setup. Its smooth surface will not harm Pepper's long, beautiful tail. Let's stack the stones at the back to create depth. Later on, we'll add plants, but first, let's add in a few pieces of driftwood. Be sure to avoid symmetry when placing your driftwood. This will help your tank look more natural. Let's place our Bucha Philandra throughout the tank. It's rare to have this type of plant in such a large quantity, but I was lucky to source it in bulk. Let's add a few pieces of Anubius Nana. These will provide coverage for Pepper so he feels safe and comfortable in his new home. Let's mix our fish tank with water. This will prevent our plants from drying out while I prepare to fill up our fish tank. It's time to fill it up. Be sure your water isn't hitting the sand directly. This makes for a super clear fill. Don't forget to add in your heater and filter before cycling your fish tank. This process can take anywhere between two to four weeks and keeps our fish safe and happy. Let's check in on Pepper and see if he is ready for his final move. Pepper has slowly adjusted and is finally eating his pellets. I'm so excited to see him in his new home. It's finally time to add him to his tank. Look, here he goes. Pepper seems a bit skittish to start. I really hope he likes his new home. Let's turn off the aquarium light to help him calm down. After a few hours, Pepper seems to be back to his curious self. He absolutely loves his new hiding spots. Let's give him a snack. He's finally in his forever home. Thanks for watching.